realize it was too late because you were practicing for your concert. Yeah. Uh, Good morning, sir. Good morning. I'd like to see you better without your signs. You could come and join us. Well, unfortunately, your religion is falsely accusing me of violating Canada's blasphemy law in legal bullying intended to conceal pedophilia and rape committed by Unitarian Universalist ministers. So I think you need to see these signs. And I think you need to do something about it. That's what it... Well, you need to contact the Unitarian Universalist Association and demand an explanation for why they falsely accused me of violating Canada's blasphemy law in an effort to hide pedophilia and rape. You Can know what? What about all that stuff that goes on in the Middle East? Wouldn't, or the animals that are being abused? Right. What about it? Well, wouldn't you be better off to work on that? We eat cows and lamb and... So you don't care about the children being raped by Unitarian Universalist ministers? And you don't care about the Unitarian... I do. I do. I care about all the... So when are you, when are you going to do something about it? When are you going to write a letter? We're looking at it. Or are you really? No, that's not true. Exactly. It's not true. So start looking at it, please. Engage in a free and responsible search for the truth and meaning of what's on my picket signs. Okay. And then govern yourself accordingly. So again, typical... Denial, willful ignorance, don't really want to know what's going on. Oh, yeah, be nice. No, yes, I'd like to see you without the signs. Well, gee, yeah, well, yeah, I'd like to be here without the signs, too, if, uh, you know, and I would be if you actually dealt with your problems properly, but no. You know, the reason I'm here with signs is because the Unitarian Universal Association ignored all of my letters saying, hey, you need to uh, withdraw your false blasphemous libel accusation. You need to apologize for it and you need to divulge the truth about just how many uh, Unitarian Universalist ministers are in fact guilty of committing such despicable crimes as pedophilia and rape uh, you know and this woman wants to change the subject to other injustices well how does she know that I don't protest those injustices uh, as well you know um, how does she know that I, I don't do that um, even if <laughs> Even if uh, you know, I, I didn't, you know, it's not uh, a reason to try to dismiss this protest. Um, yes, there are other injustices in the world. Yes, there are even more serious injustices in the world. But that doesn't mean that uh, I cannot and should not protest this injustice. That looks like it might be a police car up ahead. I'm not sure. Maybe not. No, I think not. I think it's a... I think it's uh, not a police car. I thought it was. Uh, possibly. It looked a bit like a Dodge Charger. In any case, uh, so getting back to things, um, you know, she immediately changes the subject, you know, to, oh, what about all those other injustices in the world? Well, as it happens, I actually do, uh, I actually do uh, tweet out about uh, a lot of those other injustices. I actually do post Facebook pay posts about them. I actually do document various protests in Montreal about those other issues and I put my videos up on YouTube so people can see those protests. Essentially uh, they have unedited raw video of what happened. You know most of the news reports will only give a, a short sound bite to you know the protesters speaking you know they'll they'll take a few seconds of what they said you know whereas I put up you know hours worth of a video that anyone can watch and, and get a fuller idea of what the protest is about you know just yesterday I was at the uh, protest in front of uh, TVA French language uh, television station where basically a group was protesting in favor of Quebec's Bill 21, uh, secularism law, uh, and another group uh, was protesting against the uh, pro-Bill 21 protesters because they may not have all been uh, far right, but nonetheless uh, their protest uh, included a, a certain number of uh, elements of the far right in Canada. So essentially we had the far left, if you wish,